Jim's EV Adventures, EV Bump Blasters, take nine, today. Hey, EV Adventurers, welcome to episode number nine of Jim's EV Adventures, EV Bunk Blaster series. Today, it's time for a Bunk Blaster recap. We've blasted eight myths so far, major EV myths, and today we're gonna break them down one by one and maybe share a few tips and then get you pumped up for what's coming next. Buckle up, this is going to be an electrifying 10 minute ride. This EV is absolutely killing it. It's smooth handling, zero emissions, a vehicle with enough range to keep the adventure going. And out on the road, I just plan my stops using a charging app, something like PlugShare, and I'm charged up in just 30 minutes and ready to get back out on the road. And while I wait that 30 minutes, I have a beverage, enjoy a snack, maybe take a short walk, grab a meal, or take in an amazing view. Imagine slowing down and living life. That's what an EV brings to your mix. But before we dive into our EV Bunk Blasters recap, let's talk about why EVs are perfect for road trips. There are three major reasons. Efficiency, power, and a whole lot of fun. Now, let's revisit the myths that we've put to rest so far in this EV Bunk Blaster series. We've tackled some of the biggest misconceptions about electric vehicles that there are, and it's time to run through all eight myths we blasted. I'll put links to all eight episodes in the description below, so you can go back and watch them for yourself. Let's do this. First up, episode one covered the myth that EVs are just too heavy. Folks claim that EVs are crushing our roads and ruining our bridges, but let's get real. Yes, EV batteries add some weight, and in my ride, the Bolt EUV, it's about 12% heavier than a similar gas car. But let's face it, modern roads and bridges are built for much heavier vehicles like delivery trucks, moving vans, and of course, these guys right here. Plus, EVs have lower centers of gravity, making them handle like a dream. In this episode, we showed real-world tests proving roads handle EVs just fine. That bunk was fully blasted. In episode 2, we took on the EV batteries are toxic myth. This one's a big scare tactic. The truth? Lithium-ion batteries are recyclable, with over 95% of their materials reusable. Manufacturers are designing safer, more sustainable batteries, and the old ones are turned into new packs or other products. Compared to oil spills or gas car emissions, EVs are a cleaner choice. So, bunk blasted yet again. Episode 3, well, that was a bit of a screamer. We tackled the fear that EVs will crash the power grid. Spoiler alert, they will not. We crunched the numbers, and EVs charging simultaneously is just a small fraction of grid demand. And smart charging during off-peak hours keeps things well balanced. Plus, renewable energy is growing fast. And I showed you how I charge overnight using solar credits from my power company. The grid's ready for EVs, so again, bunk blasted. And now we come to one of my favorite episodes, episode four about the fire dangers of an EV. Well, yes, lithium ion batteries can have thermal events, but they are rare. Gasoline cars, 
catch fire way more often. Data shows that EVs have a fire rate of about 0.25% compared to 1.5% for gas vehicles. Safety features like thermal management systems keep risks low. So the fire myth, completely extinguish. Bunk, blasted, gone, forever. And now we come to the most watched episode in the history of Jim's EV Adventures, episode five, the myth that EVs require special tires. We rolled over that myth with facts. EVs have instant torque, yes, and that can stress your tires if you're not careful. But choosing EV specific tires, no way. The ones on my ride are made for a regular vehicle, if you want to call it that. No, when it comes time to shopping for tires, just shop smart and find the lowest rolling resistance tire that will handle the weight of your vehicle and your driving style. That particular myth, bunk, fully, and totally blasted for good forever. Then we come to episode six, the myth of the long tailpipe. My friend Mark Mills just loves to say, you don't change the amount of pollution your car pollutes, you just change the location of the tailpipe. Well, he is dead wrong. The idea that EVs just shift the emissions to the power plants is wrong. Even when you factor in manufacture and all the charging, EVs still have a 50 to 70 percent lower life cycle emission than any gas car, especially as grids get cleaner. We drove through the math to prove that EVs are a win for your pocketbook and a win for the climate. So that myth, bunk blasted. So take that, Mr. Mills. In episode 7, we blasted the claim that EVs use more energy than gas cars from the time they're manufactured until the time they wind up in the scrap heap. Well, the fact is EVs convert over 90% of the energy they use to motion while gas cars waste 70% as heat. My EV costs me half as much per mile as compared to my old gas guzzler. In fact, it's actually closer to a third as much. Efficiency, EVs dominate, and that bunk blasted. In episode 8, the latest full episode, we took on the myth that EVs are just a passing fad. <laughs> EV sales are skyrocketing. Over 10% of global car sales last year were electric. Every major automaker is going all in. From trucks to sports cars, EVs are reshaping the entire automotive market. I showed you the numbers and I proved that this is no fad. It is a revolution. That myth, bunk, completely blasted and gone forever. I'm looking forward to the day when you come back to this channel and say, I should have listened to you way back when. You know, busting all these EV myths prove that EVs are more than ready for the road, whether it's a daily commute or an epic adventure. I love how this EV handles curves, regenerates energy going down hills, and keeps me connected with real-time charging maps so I'll know where to charge. What's next? Well, in episode 10, we're going to do a road test of an EV's range and blast another myth about range anxiety. Well, now that's a wrap for episode 9. Thanks for walking through the eight myths that we've blasted so far. This only proved that EVs are still the champs for clean, fun, lower cost driving. Please follow Jim's EV Adventures on X, Facebook, and Instagram, and drop a line with your myth-busting ideas if you have some. 
In the meantime, I gotta go to the grocery store to keep the missus happy. She's working and I'm not, so guess whose turn it is to shop. Let's keep this EV revolution charged up and I will see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you all real, real soon.